US Air Force has finally revealed its sixth generation fighter. With countries like Russia, Japan, and China already developing their own sixth generation fighters, the US Air Force has finally revealed its own sixth generation fighter. Aeronautics and aircraft technology are very crucial to a country's military power, and we could safely state that whoever controls the skies controls the world. Stay till the end of the video to see what this new fighter will look like and discover all the new features that have been added to it. A sixth generation fighter is a concept for a new class of jet fighter aircraft that is more advanced than the present fifth generation fighters in service and development. The United States, Japan, Russia, the United Kingdom, Sweden, Italy, France, Germany, Spain, China, and India have all announced the creation of a sixth generation aircraft program. The first sixth generation fighters are expected to enter service in the 2030s. The US Air Force's next generation air dominance or NGAD program is pursuing the development and deployment of a sixth generation fighter to replace its existing air superiority fighters such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 and eventually the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The US Navy is developing a fighter component named the FAXX to complement the smaller Lockheed Martin F-35C and replace older aircraft like the Boeing F-A-18 EF Super Hornet. In 2008, the US Navy launched the FAXX program. Then in 2010, the US Air Force requested the first proposals for a next generation tactical aircraft, which would later become the FX program. DARPA conducted a study in April of 2013 to see if existing USAF and USN concepts might be combined DARPA would lead efforts to create prototype X-planes for next-generation fighters as part of the Air Dominance Initiative. Each of the US Navy's and Air Force's variants would be tailored to their respective missions. However, the RAND Corporation advised the US military services to avoid cooperative efforts for the deployment of a sixth-generation fighter design in 2013. They discovered that in prior joint programs, different service-specific requirements for complex programs had resulted in design compromises that resulted in expenditures that were significantly higher than conventional single-service programs. A broader approach to offensive technologies was proposed in 2014, with USAF aircraft expected to operate alongside ground-based and non-kinetic anti-aircraft solutions with a larger weapon load than existing fighters. Instead of focusing on the sixth-generation fighter, the U.S. Air Force formalized this shift to its Air Superiority 2030 plan, committing to a network of integrated systems disaggregated across various aircraft. The requirements of the Air Force and Navy had previously been merged the year before and were now formally integrated, with the joint focus being on AI systems and a common airframe. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman have all stated plans to develop sixth-generation aircraft. On September 14, 2020, the United States Air Forces stated that a prototype aircraft for the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program has flown for the first time, but then kept the specifics classified. Although the Navy and Air Force have quite different ideas for their separate Next Generation jet concepts, they do share some key qualities. Artificial intelligence as a decision aid for the pilot, comparable to present sensor fusion, is one of them. They will also have positioning, navigation, and timing, or PNT, and communications that allow big data movement between both services aircraft. The US Air Force considers stealth to be critical for the FX, but the US Navy emphasizes that the FAXX's survivability should not come at the expense of speed or payload. The Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments, or CSBA, published a paper in April of 2015 recommending that the next generation US Air Force fighter be larger and more similar to a bomber than a compact, maneuverable traditional fighter. It looked at over 1,450 air-to-air -air encounters dating back to 1965 and discovered that long-range weaponry and sensors have significantly reduced instances of dogfighting. Traditional designs relying on tiny size, high speed, and maneuverability may be less relevant and simpler to intercept as air defense systems incorporating electronic and infrared sensors and high-speed weaponry become more common. As a response, the CSBA recommends developing a much larger fighter that relies on better sensors, signature control, networked situational awareness, and very long-range missiles to finish engagements without being identified or tracked. While present engines perform best at a single point in the flight envelope, sixth-generation engines are expected to have a variable cycle, allowing for more range, faster acceleration, and better subsonic cruising efficiency at any speed or altitude. 
the engine would be configured to behave like a turbojet at supersonic speeds while acting like a high bypass turbofan for efficient cruising at lower speeds. Aircraft using this engine type will most likely be able to supercruise. The technology is being developed by the Air Force under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, and by the Navy under its Variable Cycle Advanced Technology, or VCAT program. At a House Armed Services Committee, the USAF Chief of Staff, General Charles Q. Brown Jr., said that the sixth generation jet, which is set to replace the F-22 Raptor, will be a multi-role fighter. The Air Force Chief said the fighter jet's principal goal will be air dominance, but it will also be able to strike ground targets. Some air-to-ground capability would be included in the sixth generation fighter to assure first that it could survive and also to provide options for the air component commanders and the joint force. Brown also stated that the NGAD fighter will have a larger range and weapons load than the F-22, allowing it to operate over longer distances in the Indo-Pacific region. These specifications correspond to concept drawings previously disclosed in a USAF biannual report for acquisition, which suggested a larger blended wing airframe than the F-22, allowing for a larger weapons bay and fuel tank on the inside. According to Air Force Magazine, reported by General Mark D. Kelly, the Chief of Air Combat Command, there may be two variants of NGAD, one with a high range and payload for the Indo-Pacific and one with a shorter range and payload for prospective conflict regions in Europe. The flight control software for the Air Force's future fighter is being constructed separately from the software that governs its mission systems, a unique feature that the service's top general claims will allow the aircraft to be updated with new technologies more swiftly. During a roundtable with reporters on April 12, Air Force Chief of Staff General C.Q. Brown said the approach for the so-called Next Generation Air Dominance Program is one he believes the service has not followed in any of its previous fighters. Since announcing the maiden flight of an NGAD demonstrator in 2020, Air Force officials have kept quiet about the project, which would eventually replace the F-22 Raptor with a sixth-generation family of systems that will include a fighter and uncrewed aircraft. The service has not identified the businesses competing to build the aircraft or its mission systems, any performance criteria for the jet, or any information on the fighter's purchase or associated equipment. While the NGAD's status as a highly classified is one obvious reason for the lack of public information about it, the program's decoupled software approach raises the possibility that even those with insider knowledge of the NGAD aircraft won't be able to predict what kinds of novel technology will ultimately be installed. Decoupling the flight control and mission system software allows the Air Force to incorporate new technologies that are currently in development, as long as they fit within the plane and match the weight, power, and cooling requirements. Before we conclude, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. While the NGAD program is still kept under wraps, funding for it has been steadily increasing over the last few years, indicating that progress is being made. In fiscal 2023, the Air Force wants $1.65 billion for the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, up $133 million over its FY22 proposal. Earlier this month, Major General James Pesha, the Air Force's Deputy Assistant Secretary for Budget, attributed that increase to advanced sensors and resilient communications gear for the sixth-generation fighter, the kinds of mission systems Brown suggested could be continuously evaluated throughout NGAD's development. Do you think the U.S. Air Force will produce the best sixth-generation fighter? Comment down below. Also, check out our video on NATO's deadliest weapon that will shock the world.